This video shows you how to install your LaserJet printer on a wireless network in Windows using the CD that was provided with your printer. Before you begin, you'll need to check a few things to make sure the printer is ready to be installed on your network. First, make sure your router is already set up and functioning correctly. Also, make sure your computer is connected to the same router you will connect your printer to. Then, make sure you have access to your SSID or your network name. You'll also need access to your WEP key or WPA passphrase, which is the password you use with your SSID to log into your network. Both pieces of information are case sensitive, so make sure that if a letter is capitalized in your SSID or password, that it is capitalized when you write it down. If you don't know the SSID, key, or passphrase, contact the person who set up the network or the manufacturer's documentation. You must have both the SSID and key passphrase, otherwise your printer will not connect to the network. Now you can start the installation of your printer. First, make sure the printer is turned on. If it is off, press the power button. Load the driver CD that came with your printer into the computer's CD drive. Before heading ahead, into the video in case you are facing any issue. With your HP printer device, get in touch with our HP printer expert. On your computer, an autoplay window opens. Click run auto run .exe to start the installer. Windows 7 asks you to confirm if you want to continue opening the installer. Click yes to continue. When the installer opens, click the install button. Review the agreements, then click the checkbox next to I have reviewed and accept the installation agreements. The installer transfers files to your computer from the installation CD. When the connection type screen opens, choose the connect through a wireless network option, then click next. The installer searches the local networks for an available printer. A window opens asking you to connect the USB cable. Connect the USB cable into your printer. Then connect the other end of the USB cable into your computer. The computer finds your printer and resumes the installation. The installer looks for all available wireless networks within range of your printer. A list of all the detected networks will be displayed on the Wireless Networks Found screen. Click the network name that matches the SSID that you wrote down earlier. Once you have selected the correct SSID, click Next. Type in your WEP key or WPA passphrase, then click Next. The installer gathers and verifies your network name and password, then the installer connects to the router using the information you have provided. While this is happening, the wireless light on your printer blinks as the printer attempts to search for and connect to the router. Once a connection is made, the wireless light on your printer turns solid blue. Once all connections have been established and the settings are saved, the Network Connection Successful screen opens. You can now disconnect the USB cable from the computer and the printer. The computer resumes the installation. The thank you screen appears. Uncheck the register this product with HP checkbox. To keep the focus of this video on installation, we will skip over the registration process and the update product firmware process. Leave the set as default printer, update product firmware, and print test page boxes checked. Click the finish button to print the test page. The thank you screen appears. The test page prints, confirming that your wireless setup is complete. The ePrint page appears on your computer. Click the ePrint link and follow the directions if you want to enable ePrint on your printer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of our videos. And in the case face any problem get in touch with the experts.